In Gaben's AMA not too long ago, it was revealed that the CSGO team is working on replacing the old, dusty Scaleform UI with a fresh panorama version that has high performance and is super cool looking. Dota 2 already uses it, and it looks amazing, so I'm sure Valve will take full advantage of the tool. But for this video, I'm more concerned about the precious FPS that will be gained back by replacing Scaleform with something new. To test this, I'll be comparing FPS benchmarks between having the HUD on like normal, and disabling it using the CL draw HUD 0 command. I know this won't show the cost of Panorama, but the point of these is to show the cost of the current Scaleform version, so that we'll know what's weighing it down right now. For the first pair of benchmarks, I ran around in an offline game of Dust 2 by myself, and used fraps to get an average FPS. Here are the crappy specs I used to test this. Ew. Here are my settings for the CPU limited test, and here are the settings for the GPU limited test. For the CPU limited test, the results seem really marginal, as there was only a 2% increase. For the GPU limited test, there was a more interesting 9% increase, which is something significant, but probably not the results you were looking for. The problem with these benchmarks is the static UI. The whole point of CSGO's UI is to give updated information on your stats. And since this isn't using all the UI's abilities, I may have been doing Panorama a huge injustice. That's why I did this second test. This time, I joined my friend's server so that my computer won't have to host the bots, and I spectated 2-3 to three rounds for each of the tests. This is where it got interesting. Comparing the CPU test, there was a whole 34% increase in performance when switching off the HUD. I will note at the time the sample size for some reason was unusually short, but after testing this the next day with a much larger sample size, the results were even bigger, so this should still show that this is a valid benchmark. If you don't trust me, then you can do these yourself, and I would advise to do that anyway since it will give you a better understanding of your computer. On the GPU settings, the increase was a lot less than the CPU, but still an impressive 15%. These are big changes that I bet a lot of the community would appreciate. Of course, Panorama would have to drop some performance I would think, but I hope it would be better optimized. Dicklix Philip also seemed to find similar results when he was testing it, so that makes me more confident in my results. Additionally, I took advantage of these benchmarks to check the accuracy of the time demo command. All you have to do is record a demo, and then type time demo, and then the demo name. It speeds through it and will give an average FPS at the end. This is really good at testing variables, as it will return the same movement every time. From what I tested, it seemed to be pretty accurate. In summary, it seems to be good at showing change, and pretty good at showing FPS, but it can be off by a decent amount. I would say it's better to use fraps, but the results will give you a good idea when using the time demo command. In summary, I'm excited to see the performance enhancements CSGO will get with Panorama, as real game scenarios show a big drop off with FPS thanks to the current UI, on the CPU side. And since people who currently struggle with performance have their settings on the lowest, this will be a huge benefit to them. Until then, hold on tight, and hope I didn't get this wrong. You didn't die.